encore finalement ici au Québec avec nous et je suis accompagnée de trois membres de la formation. Welcome to Montreal. Thank you okay, very much. Merci. Hello everyone. <laughs> oui, vous êtes contents. Actually, actually, we've got another hello to make out there. Melanie and Jerry aren't very well, so they can't be with us today. So I want to say a big hello to Melanie and Jerry. Hello, girls. Hello. Get well soon. For those who have not heard, they are trying to say hello to Melanie and Jerry because they are hello. Ils sont présentement à l'hôtel parce qu'ils ne se sentent pas trop, trop bien. Mais ils vont être là à bouche de là ce soir. Ils vont être là ce soir. Oui, j'espère. 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 Oui, Before we start, I'd like to ask you, how did the band come together? Because there are a lot of stories, but I do know how, but I'd like you to tell everybody how these yeah. two get together. Well, it was, we've been together almost four years now, but um, at first, there was four of us were in a different band, because we'd been to an audition in a newspaper, and we were working with this manager for a few months, but we didn't really get on, because we wanted to manufacture the band, we wanted to write our own stuff. So we left him, and then we were friendly with Emma, and we thought she would be perfect to be in the gang. So, we called ourselves Spice Girls, wrote all our material, found a wicked manager, signed a record deal, and here we are today. Wow, what a story. I know. It's very cool. But we weren't managing ourselves for a year, so it was quite hard work at first. We had no money, skin, and just trying to work, you know, and get our songs together. Ils sont en train de nous expliquer comment que la formation a été mise ensemble et puis ils nous ont dit comme ça qu'ils se rencontraient plusieurs fois à des auditions et finalement ils ont décidé de former un groupe ensemble. Ils ont répondu à une annonce publicitaire qui est à la recherche d'une formation de filles et finalement ils ont, été, ils ont rencontré le, le, le producteur et ils sont venus ensemble. Et tout de suite ils ont rencontré Emma et puis ils ont dit que ça serait cool qu'elle soit dans le band. Et la voici avec eux, les Spice Girls. Who decided to call yourselves the Spice Girls? Is one particular person or did you all decide why not? It came quite naturally, actually, because variety of the spice of life, and we're all very different, you know, individual individual people, and um, it just sort of came. To, it, well, actually, it came to Jerry in an aerobics class. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you do you do we, um, we wrote a song, didn't we, called Sugar and Spice. Okay. And then just one day, me and Jerry were at aerobics doing a bit of a grapevine, you know, as you do, <laughs> and she just went, "By Jove, I've got it! Spice Girls, it's perfect." So like and home. it's stuck ever since, yeah. <laughs> ils nous expliquent comment ils sont arrivés à appeler leur formation Spice Girls et puis c'est Jerry qui a eu l'idée dans, dans un cours de danse à Yerobie. elle a dit mais coudon et euh, Spice parce qu'ils ont entendu la chanson euh, Sugar and Spice et puis c'est Spice qui est venu en tête et puis ils ont appelé leur formation Spice Girls <laughs> Do you find it harder being a, a female group because there are a lot of bands uh, that are five male like New Kids on the Block and now the Backstreet Boys Do you find it harder for five girls? I don't know because I've never been a boy <laughs> I think that, you know, right at the beginning, we, you know, people did have a lot of preconceptions about us because we are female and because, you know, we are a girl band and that hadn't actually happened for a long time. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, we just said, you know, take us as we are. We're just basically having a laugh. We're having fun. That's, the, that's what we're about is just having fun. And if people want to pigeonhole you into something else, then that's fine. But we're nothing else. We're not the female take that. We're not the female Backstreet Boys. We or broke we're, them we're barriers down. That's what we are. We did. It's very good. Ils sont venus nous expliquer, j'ai demandé si c'était plus dur, parce que puisqu'il y a déjà des, des formations de cinq euh, de garçons, comme les New Kids on the Block et les Backstreet Boys maintenant, si c'était plus difficile pour eux, puisqu'ils sont des femmes, et ils sont en train de me dire que non, c'est pas... Euh, ils sont pas... <rire> comme qu'elle nous dit que c'était pas très, tellement difficile, parce que c'est... Euh, elle sait pas c'est quoi, elle n'est pas un garçon, mais euh, non, ils, ils sont là pour avoir du fun, finalement, et puis ils sont très naturels, comme on peut voir ici, des jeunes demoiselles très naturelles. Et pour tout de suite, on va aller voir le clip qui nous a fait connaître les Spice Girls, on va aller voir... Wannabe. We're going to go see Wannabe right now. Hey. Here he is. Wannabe. How long did it take to, sh to shoot that video? Like I told you, it it's a camera that's following you the whole time. Yeah. Yep. A whole day. And we had, it did it in one take, but it took us about 10 times. But there's still mistakes in the video, if you watch. I trip over. There's <laughs> loads of things that go wrong. Okay. <laughs> but, you know, we've got a surprise for you. you we've do? got something here for you to say a big thank you for supporting us. Oh, my God. Because without you, we so you. would be doing very well. So, big thank you. Okay, do Merci. 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 Merci beaucoup, Spice Girl. C'est un meilleur album platine ici. 100 000 copies vendues ici. C'est pas là. Merci beaucoup. To uh, add this um, and to include us in your, Thank your success. You. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you. And everybody out there that's supporting us. Merci beaucoup. Merci. <laughs>
<laughs> and uh, ten times to do that video? Yeah. Wow, il explique qu'il a pris dix, dix fois avant de faire ce vidéo. Comme vous pouvez voir, c'est une caméra séquence qui leur suit tout le long et qui les suit tout le long. Et malheureusement, euh, comme elle nous a dit, il y a des petites erreurs si on vous regarde très, très bien. Mais un superbe clip quand même. On a une primeur pour vous dans, le proche, dans la prochaine pause. On va voir le nouveau clip des Spice Girls. We're going to see your new video. Okay. Oh, yeah. Tell you later on. Tu vas être excité? Oui? Oui. Did you expect to be such a huge hit? Um, I don't think it's, you know, you can't ever expect that. I mean, obviously, you know, you hope that people are going to enjoy music. And as I was saying to you, you know, to you before, that's the most important thing to us is when we can sit here and watch other people smiling and singing along to our music, that is really like a fantastic feeling. And really people good. speak a different language. Exactly. Exactly. That's what we were just saying, that people, you know, all over the world who don't even speak our language are singing our song. It's quite amazing, really. And, and scary. scary. Scary too? <laughs> Why scary? A little bit, a little bit. You think, oh my God, why do they like us? Ils nous expliquent que ça va faire très chaud au cœur quand ils voient qu'ils sont loin de chez eux et puis il y a des gens qui parlent complètement différentes langues, mais ils arrivent à connaître leurs chansons par cœur parce que vous n'avez pas eu la chance de le voir, mais pendant qu'on a bu passait, et bien toutes les filles ici, tous les gars, tout le monde qui était en studio chantait la chanson parce qu'elles connaissaient par cœur. Mais c'est fun. <laughs> what a success. And your number, uh, Wannabe was number one in 28 countries. Yeah, that's right. Do you, are you afraid to be like a one-time hit? Not at all, because um, in right, in England and Europe, we've been we've had three number ones now, so it's very exciting. I think people are realizing now. Obviously, they did want to, you know, say, oh, they're just going to be one-hit wonders, but hopefully, we showed them. Because and also, the album in England has been number one now for yes. weeks, about six weeks, weeks. Yeah. nine weeks, nine, nine weeks. weeks. There you go, nine no weeks. more than that. <laughs> Leur album était numéro un pendant neuf semaines en Angleterre. Je lui ai demandé s'ils si, si ont peur d'être euh, un one hit wonder, comme qu'on appelle, ça veut dire avoir un succès qu'une fois comme euh, certains groupes. Et puis ils me disent non, c'est pas comme ça. Et euh, leur, leur album a été un succès pendant plusieurs semaines. Ils ont trois numéros un maintenant en Angleterre. Et puis ils sont en troisième position ici au Québec. Et puis grâce à vous autres, ils vont être numéro un bientôt. Hein? Oui? Oui? On va une pause et on revient tout de suite accompagné des Spice Girls. Il s'agit de Say You'll Be Here, le nouveau clip des Spice Girls. Alors, je vous répète, on va avoir la primeur de leur clip. Uh, do you consider yourselves female role models? Um, I think that, you know, we're in a position now where we can, you know, we can sing things that we feel passionately about and hopefully when people listen to our music, they'll be able to relate to that and understand where we're coming from. So, uh, you know, we can speak up about things we, you know, we really believe in. <laughs> yeah, I think because uh, all of our songs we've written on our, our experiences as we've been growing up, so I think maybe that's how like come a lot of the kids in the world can relate to us because they're going through the same things. Like we think about relationships, friendships, safe sex, you know, things that are important to us. And at the same time, in your songs, you're a bit. Would I be right if I said a bit feminist, but you're provocative and sexy at the same time? I think that's, uh, that is one of our messages, that you can be, you know, you can wear your short skirts, you can wear your wonder bra and your makeup and, and look sexy, but as long as you've got something to say and you don't rely on that, you know, as long as you've got, you know, a bit of intelligence and know what to say and don't let anybody rule your lives or take over, you should, you know, rely, rely on yourself and make your own destiny, really. Alors, on nous explique que, oui, ils se considèrent comme étant des mentors, des idoles pour les jeunes, parce que maintenant, ils sont capables, ils sont dans l'œil du public et finalement, ils peuvent transmettre des messages comme étant sexy et belle. Mais si tu as quelque chose à dire, c'est encore plus important. Et puis, c'est ça qu'on voit maintenant dans les chansons des Spice Girls. That's what we see in your songs. But it's not contradicting yourself when you say feminist is not usually provocative and sexy at the same time. Usually, provocative and sexy is not considered the same thing. Yeah, well, we're not. We don't really want to be seen as feminists because what we stand for is equality. Okay. We just want women to be equal to men. So oh. We're not saying completely, you know, take over and dominate men. We're not saying that. We're just saying, that you know, you be, yeah, you can if you want sometimes. <laughs> but, you know, just be equal. That's, that's what we're more about, equality. Ça, c'est en anglais, mais quand je vais traduire ça, là, vous êtes tellement contents. Ils ont dit comme ça qu'ils ne disent pas qu'il faut être absolument féministe là, puis, euh, contre les hommes. Ils disent qu'il faut être égal. Les cons ils se considèrent comme étant égal à l'homme. Hein? Ça, je le dis? Oui? Oui? <rire> Et puis, il reste encore, parce qu'on va aller voir leur primeur de leur nouveau clip. Hein. Je vais répéter ça. I received a lot of emails. People wanted me to ask you these questions on air. 
On a reçu beaucoup de, 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 de questions via l'Internet. Alors, on va poser une question de la part de Daphne Blouin, qui veut savoir, who wants to know, Daphne Blouin wants to know, what is the best advice you would give to someone who wants to start a singing career? I think the best advice to do, to, to say, is if you want anything bad enough, then it's going to come to you. So work hard, stick at it, and never give up, and one day I'm sure you'll succeed. Best advice you and can give. And that's in any career, not just singing in anything. <laughs> Alors Daphné, si tu écoutes, les Spice Girls ont toujours de te dire que si tu veux vraiment, vraiment une carrière en, en chantant, eh bien il faut rester, poursuivre, foncer et jamais arrêter, et puis éventuellement tu vas avoir ton rêve. I have another question that comes from, we're going to get the name right here, de Alain Plante de Jonquière, qui demande, I want to know, hi Spice Girls, you know, in those boys singing bands, there is always one or two members who play music instruments. Does anybody in your band play instruments? Yep, we yep. do. There oh. is actually. <laughs> there is actually, yeah. Um, Melanie Brown plays um, the drum. Okay. Um, Jerry plays the guitar. And Vicky plays a bit of the piano. Yeah, it's very but, basic. You know, at, <laughs> at the moment we are mostly vocal. When we tour and things like that, um, it'll be definite that they'll get up on their instruments. But at the moment we are vocal and more, you know, Visual. Visual. But we darling. want to keep that as a bit of a surprise when we do our live concert. Is that that's something we're really... It's all going to be told everyone. <laughs> <laughs> let's think we're really into, you know, doing it live with a big band behind us. And then, you know, we'll get up and, you know, show you a bit of what we can do as well. Ah, oh, that's very good. Uh, elle avait une question qu'elle a répondu. La question de Alain Plante qui demandait si, uh, si les membres sont capables de jouer des instruments. Et finalement, ils nous disent que Melanie B, elle joue la batterie. Et... Uh, Oh, Jerry plays the guitar. Jerry joue la guitare. Et finalement, Victoria joue un peu de piano, mais elle nous dit que c'est très, très minime, là. Mais elle joue du piano. And I'm sorry, I didn't get the two instruments that you play. We're triangle. Vocal? Triangle. Triangle. Am I triangle? And tambourine. <laughs> 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 a comb with tissue paper. <laughs> 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 and then we're going to play an instrument, an instrument that we've invented. It's a pot with little pots on the inside. And we're going to squeeze it. 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 Alors tout de suite, on va aller, on va aller voir le nouveau clip de Spice Girls. I'd like you to introduce your new video. Okay, okay. here's our, here's our new, new video. single. Stay with me there. 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 Stay with It was done in between Las Vegas and Los Angeles in a place called Coyote Dry Lake, and it was very, very hot, very oh, hot. Absolutely baking. We, she <laughs> had um, a PVC suit on, and she was, just had to take it off every time we didn't shoot because she was so hot. She was melting, man. No. When we finished that video, she was about two stone lighter. Yeah. <laughs> Il nous explique que la vidéo a été tournée entre Los Angeles et Las Vegas dans une place qui s'appelle... Uh, Coyote Dry Lake. Coyote Dry Lake. Dry Lake. Yeah. Comme vous pouvez voir, euh, oui, oui, ça devait être très, très chaud là-bas. Ils nous disent que Victoria avait une excuse, vous avez vu sa tenue vestimentaire dans la vidéo, mais elle est obligée de l'enlever à mille et une reprises parce que c'est trop, trop chaud. Oui, on va aller voir maintenant. Do you guys have boyfriend? I do. Elle m'a dit boyfriend, non. Je ne pas trop déçu, les gars. Hein? Do you have I a boyfriend? Don't. You don't? No. Ça, ça doit être dur. It must be hard to have a boyfriend right now. Um, not really. No. no, it's nice to obviously go home to them, but it makes it stronger because you're away as well. So it's quite cool. And how about Jerry and, and Mel B? Well, we can't speak for them. We no. let them tell you themselves next time. <laughs> alors, on n'en a pas d'autre à le dire, mais Jerry et Mel B sont pas ici, alors on ne parlera pas des autres. Mais Emma, elle a un copain, et Victoria a un copain. Et, uh, oh my God, Melanie. blank. Melanie, doesn't it? Mel Melanie C. Elle n'a pas de copain. Alors, who inspired you in your career? I think, you know, individually we like different people. I mean, I was, I'm a big fan of Anita Baker. Anita Baker, oh, Tony Braxton, Sounds of Blackness. You know, anything with a bit of soul. I like soul music. And you? Um, I mean, I find, I don't get in, just get inspiration from musical artists. I, I take, well, we all do take musical influences. Take influences from everything around us, like as you're growing up, from like your parents and stuff like that. Because uh, my mum's been a great influence in my life, as you know, Emma as in hers as well, uh, but, and Victoria, but uh, I think musically, I mean, I really like, um, like indie music, you know, Britpop, like uh, Manic Street Preachers and stuff like that, but I'm going on and on and on, and they're telling me to shut up, so I will. Je leur demandais, c'est qui qui a inspiré, qui qui les a inspirés dans leur carrière, et puis Victoria me disait comme ça qu'elle aime Tony Braxton, elle aime les artistes qui ont un peu de soul dans leur son, et puis... 
Mélanie ici et Emma me dit comme ça que leur mère était des grands mentors pour eux. Alors c'est très My... bien. Did you get to meet any of these artists? No, I haven't. No, not yet. No. But you did get to meet ACDC. I read that. Oh yeah, we did. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we asked who they were because you didn't know. <laughs> that was me. I had to. I asked them who they were and was telling them about you know the Spice Girls and then realized that they were them. I was very embarrassed. <laughs> I don't know who they you are. Them, really? I said, who are you? Why are you here? And they said, oh, we're recording our album. I said, oh, is it your first album then? <laughs> it's not the, the eighth album or something. I was trying to ask them if they had already met some artists they love a lot. And then they said, no, they don't have the chance. But Emma has met ACDC. And then when they met her, she said she was very happy. But it's a story that's very cute. She met her in a hotel. And finally, she asked her if she wanted to make an album. And they said, yes, yes, yes. She asked if it was her first album. And she said, yes, yes, yes. She asked if it was her first album. And she said, yes, yes, yes. She asked if it was her first album. Premier album, et malheureusement, c'était ici, ici, avec leur huitième oh, album. <laughs> Thank you very much. We'll see you tonight at Bougela tomorrow. You're each and every day. You are a spice girl, you know. I am a spice girl. All of these are spice girls.